Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Upper Intermediate 79. Girl Talk. I'm so depressed. I've just been dumped. In this lesson, we're going to learn how and when to use so and such in English. Henry is so busy. Brian is such a funny guy. I never seem to be able to find anyone who wants to have a real relationship. A serious relationship. I'm so sad. I'm so emotional. I'm just so angry. Well, it's time for the movie now, and you'll like this one. It's about dating. Before we watch the movie, let's look at some words you might not know. Check out. This means to try something. Let's check out that new restaurant. A dry spell. We use this when we talk about not doing something for a long time. Like, have you had any dates recently? No, it's been a bit of a dry spell. Personal ad. A personal ad is short for a personal advertisement. Well, now we know what a personal ad is. Let's watch the movie. Sandy is talking to her friend Emma. Why is Emma sad? Do you want to go to a movie tonight, Sandy? Can't. I have a date with Brian. We're going to check out that new Thai restaurant. You know, the one that just opened on Market Street. Emma? It's just that I haven't, you know, had a date in, well, a long time. We all go through dry spells, Emma. How long has it been? Six months? Try 18 months. You haven't had a date in a year and a half? What's wrong with you? Have you been hiding under a rock or something? It's so depressing. I just can't seem to meet anyone. I don't know what to do. How did you meet Brian? I answered his personal ad. I'll never forget it. It said, short, ugly guy looking for tall, gorgeous redhead with low expectations. But you don't have red hair and you're not tall. True. But Brian's ad made me laugh. He's such a funny guy. And humor is very important to me. Well, I guess I could give it a try then. Yeah, that's the spirit. I just can't believe he dumped me, you know? Like, what was he thinking anyway? So, why is Emma sad? Emma is sad or depressed because she hasn't met anyone for a long time. Let's look at what Emma says. It's so depressing. I just can't seem to meet anyone. I don't know what to do. Poor Emma. She says it's so depressing. I just can't seem to meet anyone. Emma uses so before the adjective to make the adjective stronger. It's so depressing. We can also use so with adverbs. He walked so quickly. Let's look at some more examples. Henry is so busy. Jackie talks so quietly I can hardly hear her. What would my ad say? I guess I should write an ad about me. So it might say, kind of cute, kind of chubby. Well, we know that we use so before an adjective or an adverb, but when do we use such? Let's listen to Sandy describing her boyfriend, Brian. Brian's ad made me laugh. He's such a funny guy, and humor is very important to me. Brian is such a funny guy. Lucky Sandy. We use such before an adjective and a noun. It also makes the adjective stronger. 
Here are some examples. Paris is such a beautiful city. It is such a lovely day today. Ooh, this one looks good. Short, ugly guy looking for tall, gorgeous redhead. He seems to be such a funny guy. I like this one. This one could be the one. Now it's your turn to try. Decide when to use so and when to use such. Here's the first one. It's so depressing. Let's try another one. He's such a nice guy. Well done. Thank you so much for dinner. We had such a nice time. I want to get line dry. Want to lose weight and keep it? Well done. You now know when to use so and when to use such. We use so before an adjective or an adverb. We use such before an adjective and a noun. It's so depressing. He's such a nice guy. I've been dumped before. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just gotta go with the rolls, go with the blows, roll with the punches. Oof. I'll be fine.